Sometimes I'm in the mood for a hamburger. Other times I'm in the mood for a quesadilla. But today I'm in the mood for Mediterranean chicken pasta. First things first, I need to get my chicken. This chicken right here. So this recipe was actually inspired by a product. So many of the things that I make are inspired when I see something in the grocery store, in the market, and it just, it sets my imagination on fire. So, about a year and a half ago, we were out uh, getting some pork and some stuff to process my wild game, my elk and my deer, and I came across this at a local butcher shop. It's called Scott's Mediterranean Garlic Marinade. I have no connection with this company at all, but I loved it so much that I went out to their website and ordered a bunch of stuff, including the Sicilian lemon and garlic, and... <laughs> I should have looked up how to pronounce that first. The Bordelais marinade, lays, oh, something like that. So I pulled the fat off these chicken breasts and I butterflied them and I marinated them overnight. You can see right there, see the, see the likeness there. This would easily do, as you can see here, a couple of pounds of chicken. So this is what I did to butterfly them. Uh, I just took your standard chicken breast. Go ahead and pull any amount of fat, like right there. Pull off any extra fat like that. And then I just take these on a cutting board and I find that they cook a lot better if you press them down like this, slice the chicken breast in two. And of course we call it butterflying because see, that's what you end up with, something like that. Blackstone 28 inch Pro Series, I love it. Got it up near high, about three quarters of the way up. Of course, extra virgin olive oil, but you could use grapeseed, avocado, whatever you wanna do. And I'm gonna go down with those beautiful Mediterranean garlic marinated chicken breast. Again, I butterfly these, they're gonna cook super quick. We're gonna get a killer, here on both sides. In for the flip. Check out that color. Look at that. I just got Blyson's brand new garlic Parmesan sear and serve sauce. Gave me another idea. Delicious deli. Italian bread, like this. Then straight back to my chicken. I believe these are done and perfect. I'm gonna pull these aside for now. And we'll put that Italian bread garlic Parmesan side down on the griddle. This is experimental. This may or may not work. Let's go in for the flip. Right there, that's what I'm looking for. So some good, oh yeah, look at that. Good garlic Parmesan flavor. And then I've got some Mazetta roasted red bell peppers. These are so good. And I use these in so many recipes around my house. Check it out. We are actually gonna use all of these and the included sauce. Oh yeah. So down with a little olive oil. And I boiled some pasta, some fettuccine inside. You could certainly do this outside if you have a range top. I don't have a range top out here right now. So I did this inside on my home range top. We're gonna go down with that fettuccine. The fettuccine is gonna get all those roasted red bell peppers. By the way, come on, give me a thumbs up for that color alone. That looks amazing. I really, really like the juice from pepperoncini peppers. So I'll put a little bit of that in the pasta as well. A couple sprinkles of the Blackstone Tutto Italiano. Oh my goodness. I have some fresh basil leaves here. I'm gonna put some in the recipe and the rest of it we're gonna sprinkle on top for that nice finishing garnish. Let's plate it up. We'll call that the garlic Parmesan Italian toast. I'm gonna lay that around here. Uh, let's grab our chicken.
grab the remaining fresh basil leaves. Leaves? Leaves. <laughs> You have to have fresh Parmesan, Asiago, or a good Italian cheese. Here we go. And one last hit of the Tutto Italiano. <laughs> Take a look at that. I actually developed this recipe a couple weeks ago. I got the first bottle of the Mediterranean garlic marinade in the mail and uh, tried this like 10, 11 at night. Fell in love with it, so I've been dying to make this. And I certainly hope that it looks as good on camera as it does here in person. And I'll just make a little side plate here for myself. Make sure I get some of the basil in there and some of those roasted red bell peppers some of that chicken on top a little bit like that and of course got to get myself a piece of that garlic toast let's give it a try first thing that hits me is that chicken it is so moist it is so packed with flavor it's not dry it's incredible again folks i have no connection with this company at all but if i find something i like i always want to pass it along it's scott's foodproducts.com they've got a bunch of different stuff it's kind of pricey it's about you know compared to your grocery store that's about eight bucks or so but you can do several pounds of chicken and um, that red bell pepper that red bell pepper hits me next uh, when you're cooking your pasta make sure it's al dente right you want that to be a teeny bit on the firm side you don't want it to be mushy at all Italian toast Today I was using the Blackstone 28 inch Pro Series. You can pick that up at Walmart and walmart.com. The Tutto Italiano. This was a limited edition Christmas seasoning that was put out by Blackstone at blackstoneproducts.com. They may or may not have a few left on their website, but I think they're probably sold out. Again, scottsfoodproducts.com. This stuff is out of this world. And if you want Blackstone's brand new garlic Parmesan, you can pick this up at blackstoneproducts.com and Lowe's is even carrying it. This is Todd. I'm saying praise the Lord and pass the Mediterranean chicken pasta. I'm serious, friends. This, this is amazing. I'm known as the guy that makes right hot dogs, hamburgers. Come on, come on. This is good stuff. See you next time.